Hanoi Jane steps up to Mike at Women's March, gets nasty uh, surprise as she starts to speak by Rebecca DeSirio Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. Jane Fonda, or Hanoi Jane, as she's uh, become infamously known, was on hand in Park City, Utah for the 2018 Respect Rally which was part of the weekend's Women's March across the country. Uh, Fonda 80 was promoted as the keynote speaker and leftist groups were hoping for massive turnouts. However, poor Jane got a nasty surprise when she took the mic as her fellow nasty women, quote, attorney Gloria Allred, looked on, you don't want to miss this, The mainstream media is doing what they do best, lying like rats when it comes to the 2018 Women's March. Front and center in Park City, Utah, were a couple of celebrities, one being Hanoi Jane Fonda and another being celebrity attorney Gloria Allred. How Fonda came to be called Hanoi Jane is quite sorted, a uh, quite sorted tale. Jane sided with America's enemies during the Vietnam War and she took it a step too far when she traveled to North Vietnam taking disgusting pro-commie pics while American soldiers were being killed by the Viet Cong, uh, who she was promoting. Sure, that was 50 years ago, but no one likes traitors, nor do we forget them. So when she turned up in Park City, Utah as the keynote speaker, we are happy to report that she got a nasty surprise. This year's Women March uh, fell flat like a lead balloon in Jane's Park City rally was no exception. It was such a flop, mainstream media outlets are desperately posting the 2017 photos, trying to fool people into thinking the crowds are huge. Poor Jane, the local paper, was generous by saying hundreds of people showed up. It looked like a couple hundred tops. What a nasty surprise for the big Hollywood actress. Rosie O'Donnell was duped too. She posted an image of the 2017 Women's March and thought it was from uh, 2018. People quickly corrected the hefty actress turned activist. This picture is from uh, 2017 and we all know it, Women's March 2018. The crowds uh, were uh, far from massive, maybe half of what they had last year, if we're being generous. Seriously, how successful can a movement be if you have to lie about attendance? The LA Times reported hundreds came to City Park in Park City, Utah for the Respect Rally. Uh, on the one-year anniversary of the National Women's March, was scheduled to speak at Saturday morning's Park uh, City Gathering to voice support for all ethnicities, religious, genders, political, and sexual orientations that fell on the opening weekend of the Sundance Film Festival. Gloria Allred, who also dared to show her face, her daughter, Fellow attorney Lisa Bloom was outed for allegedly bribing women to say that President uh, Donald Trump had sexually assaulted them, page six reports. She, meaning Bloom, persuaded a donor to pay off one of uh, one accuser's mortgage and try to get a fat six-figure payment for another woman who eventually declined to come forward even after she was offered as much as $750,000, the website reported, citing Bloom's client as source. The report adds, Bloom told uh, one uh, prospective accuser that political action committees supporting Hillary Clinton were also contacted as part of the effort, though details about the connections were uh, scarce. These uh, leftist activists are rats, and Hanoi Jane thought she was going to be met with a throng of supporters. The LA Times reported, A reporter was uh, in uh, Fonda's car as she pulled up uh, to the rally and the arrogance was just too much. The car rolled uh, closer to the park where the rally was taking place, approaching a final checkpoint, the LA Times reports. Just say Jane Fonda is in the car, she's the primary speaker, and if they don't let us through, she's aggressive, her publicist shouted from the back seat. Is she on the list? A security guard asked. She's Jane Fonda. 
She is the list, the driver replied, and the car was led through the barricades. Wow, that list, quote, is not too impressive when there are only a couple hundred souls waiting to hear you speak. I can imagine the utter shock and dismay when Hanoi Jane and her handlers exited the car and looked out at the measly crowd. Well, what do these idiots expect when the country's economy is getting back on track and the Democrats are shutting down the government over illegal aliens? Women in America have uh, every advantage. This is not pre-suffrage days. This is what happens when your cause, quote, is based on lies. No one shows up. Only the crazies are, and left waving, uh, are left waving signs. Even President Donald Trump wished the Women's March well because he knew the entire hate fest would embarrass the left in the end, and the president was spot on once again. Absolutely. Too bad they didn't show us pictures of the before and after, you know? I would have liked to see, to see them. But you get it. If it was anything, they told Rosie that you're showing from 2017 pictures, so I guess you can just imagine how, uh, how uh, heartbreaking that was for uh, Jane Fonda there. What an idiot. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.